Another damp gray day in most of West Michigan. The rain has uh, come to an end now here in Grand Rapids and most areas to the south will see your rain and as skies clear tonight. Just keep an eye out for maybe a patch or two of some ice as we finally get down below freezing. 13 weather ball though for your Saturday is green, so no change to the 40 plus temperatures foreseen. The 13 weather ball is sponsored by La Fontaine Lincoln Grand Rapids. You can see some clearing already taking place up around Fremont, also in the Big Rapids area up in Pentwater. Skies are clearing. You can see them in Grand Haven, that nice sunshine off to the north. Well, I think the sun's gone down now, but at least skies are clearing. And that rain is now exiting as a low pressure system moves away from us. A little bit of a trough of low pressure coming through. We have another little wave coming down from the north. That's what's going to bring us our chance of some snow showers on New Year's Eve day, and that's on Sunday. All of the active weather staying away from West Michigan. There go the impacts from the light rain this afternoon and this evening. Here come the uh, snow showers uh, during the day on Sunday, and those will quickly move on out. Probably going to be melting as it does fall, and not a lot of weather activity for the next seven to ten days. Maybe some snow flurries uh, on Wednesday after the new year, and uh, maybe toward the end of next week. But for the most part, very quiet weather pattern shaping up again for that first week of January. Taking a look at snowfall here in West Michigan, most of our snow will be in the form of flurries, and this is during the day on Sunday, New Year's Eve day, 10th of an inch in Grand Rapids, and then we'll see another wave come down along about Wednesday, uh, maybe another couple of tenths of an inch, but not a lot of snow expected. Might be able to make some snow next to several nights as temperatures get down into the mid and upper 20s, very marginal, but highs will be back above freezing all of next week. Highs tomorrow, right around 41. That's within a degree or so of our forecast for today, but it does drop into the mid 30s on Sunday, still above freezing and above freezing again on Monday. We don't have any really cold air in sight for West Michigan. In fact, the long range outlook says we're right on the edge of higher chances for warmer readings with cold down to the south, and still we have the highest chance for less precipitation during that five day period from the 4th through the 8th. Forecast for tonight, skies will gradually clear. Where it hasn't cleared, it will. A falling below freezing in most spots, upper 20s to near 30. Northern zone skies will be clearing, especially in the Greenville, already in Fremont, mid and upper 20s here. Here in the greater Grand Rapids area, still some light rain this evening, but clearing skies, this may be the area where there could be some black ice, so watch out for that. 13 on your side forecast. <coughs> New Year's Day will be mostly cloudy in 37, 40 on Tuesday. Let's some light lake effect snow again on Wednesday of next week, but lots of sunshine, not a lot of cold air. And in fact, by the following Sunday, we may be back up to 40 plus. Lana, if you're looking for any white ground, I'm not going to see any for a while. Yeah, that's okay. But you said it might be cold enough overnight to make some snow. Yeah, the next I few think days. maybe starting maybe tonight. Okay, certainly maybe next week. The ski resorts are probably very happy to hear that. <laughs> yeah. Thanks so much, George. Well, after a couple of days of rain, finally we're getting a chance to dry out. We're actually going to see some sunshine. Folks off to the north saw a little bit before the sun went down. 13 weather ball is green. No change to the 40 plus temperatures foreseen on your Saturday. The 13 weather ball is sponsored by La Fontaine Lincoln Grand Rapids. As we walk the dog this evening, skies are clearing for Luna. Going to give a green paw for Luna to head out and get a little walking exercise without some rain for a change as skies clear. Temperatures falling into the 30s this evening in the morning. Watch out for a bit of black ice. If it hasn't already dried off, it'll be in the upper 20s. First time we've been below freezing for a while. A little bit more sunshine here tomorrow. I think it's going to be a little higher than the 3.1 forecast for tomorrow, but our wind's going to be very, very light as winds will be light out of the north here in the next 24 hours. Skies clearing, kind of see that on the satellite and radar animation. The last remaining line of any significant showers runs from Lansing to Kalamazoo, so this is the area where it will still be wet when temperatures finally fall below freezing. Got a little trough of low pressure moving on through the area. That's where those showers are. And once that moves through, we've got clear skies. 
A little bit of a trough coming down from the northwest will give us our snow showers here during the day on New Year's Eve day, but this is Saturday. Uh, no problems getting out and about as temperatures fall uh, climb back above freezing, but here come the snow showers. Just some minor travel impacts through the day on Sunday. Monday, no issues at all, but some colder air may generate some lake effect flurries right around Tuesday or so, but I'm thinking it'll be more like Wednesday. And then later on next week, all of the really active weather staying to the north of West Michigan, a few flurries as we get toward the end of next week. As far as the uh, snowfall, not a lot. Here's what the entire amount of snow is expected in West Michigan on New Year's Eve day, only a tenth of an inch or so. And then we got that second round coming through later on in the week, but this is not a lot of snow, even for January. Uh, just enough to say, yes, it's winter, maybe an inch or two from Ludington northward, a couple of inches or more along the Lake Superior shoreline. A uh, long range outlook from January 6th through the 12th. Our part of the country still has the highest chances for warmer than average readings, which are right around 31 to 32. So mid and upper 30s is still warmer than average. And it looks like uh, most of the country is starting to get into the storm track, some of it coming in from the Pacific. Uh, the storm track still staying mostly to our south, but just about everyone has a little bit higher chance for more precip during that seven day period. That's after our 10 day forecast. Clear or clearing skies at the lake shore, upper 20s to around a 30, so uh, watch out for that slippery spot on the less traveled surfaces. Mid and upper 20s uh, northward could be making some snow from uh, about I-96 northward as it'll be cold enough for that from Grand Rapids southward, kind of on the margin, has to get down around 28 or lower to make good snow. Other than that, skies will be clearing. 13 on your side forecast. <laughs> To start the new year, mostly cloudy 37, 40 on Tuesday now, 36 with some of that snow late Tuesday night into Wednesday. And then right now it looks like it will be drying out later on next week as we climb out of the mid 30s to upper 30s to near 40 with some sunshine, Elena. Still some overly pretty warm weather for this time of year, isn't it, George? Yeah, El Nino has just uh, taken over the entire weather pattern. Wow, okay, well, thanks so much, George. When is that going to be <laughs> cold enough to make snow or ice? Yeah, uh, maybe next couple of nights. Okay, finally getting down below freezing. That's good to hear. It has been a very warm month. Second warmest here in West Michigan and our highs for the entire month have been above freezing pretty much every day, if not every day. Tomorrow will be no different. 13 weather ball is green. No change to our 40 plus temperatures foreseen. The 13 Weather Ball is sponsored by La Fontaine Lincoln Grand Rapids. Forecast 42 today, and that's what it made, but well above our average high of 33. Most areas in the low 40s, so we got a bullseye on your Friday. We've been with our target range now nine days in a row with only four misses. Just jinxed myself. Second warmest December so far on a record. I don't think we will make the warmest. Second lowest amount of snowfall, even if we do get some here on the last day of the year, I don't think we'll get into third place. So 2014 had less snow than we did so far this year and snowfall around the region this season since it began. We're almost two feet below average that Halloween snowstorm helped uh, bring that deficit to only 10 inches in Muskegon up north. Uh, uh, reports haven't come in for northern lower Michigan, but over 50 inches below average for Marquette. They've only had 15 and a half inches of snow. I just checked the tower cams up there and uh, they've got a lot of green grass in both Houghton and Marquette. Storm system exiting the East Coast. That's what brought in our cooler air the last couple of days after 50s. We've been in the 40s. Uh, we're going to see a little dip in the jet stream coming down from the north on Sunday. That's what brings us our snow showers and then it clears out for Monday. Next away will come through later on right around Wednesday or so. Some more snow showers for that particular day, but the main storm track is well to our south. That's very typical of El Nino and uh, toward the end of next week, we're going to start to see our Temperatures going up again, maybe 40 plus in a few spots all the way through the following Monday. There's that strong jet stream typical of El Nino, keeping all of the storminess down to our south. That means very little precip here and all of the cold air with the polar jet stream staying to our north. So we're dry and relatively mild. As far as the active weather down East Main, still seeing some snow there and some snow and rain moving into California. High Sierra has a probability of seeing at least six plus inches there. 
while the rest of the country is pretty quiet and it'll also get a little windy along the west coast as that storm system moves on shore there. Travel wise, here come those flurries during the day on Sunday. Minor impacts to travel. All of the major impacts will be from California and then heading to the south with that storm track into northern Florida that will not affect the Detroit Lions game down to the south. And there'll be a bigger storm off to the west around Denver toward the following weekend, the first weekend in January. Model snowfall, most of it upstate uh, Maine and up here in the Sierra. Here in West Michigan, not a lot to talk about. Great Lakes seeing maybe half an inch of snow to maybe two to four along the Lake Superior shoreline, while later on next week, uh, all of that snow will accumulate generally over the Rocky Mountains, where they could certainly use the snowpack. Every Friday, the week three and four outlook comes out. This is for temperatures from January 13th through the 26th. This is the majority of the middle part of January. No change to our temperatures, highest uh, probabilities right over the Great Lakes region. And we have an equal chance for more or less system precipitation. Most of that will be along the south and the eastern seaboard and along the west coast, just not here in Michigan. Tomorrow, skies will be mostly sunny, low and mid 40s. Another day where readings will be above freezing. Upper 30s to around 40 north with some sunshine. And here in the Greater Grand Rapids area, we'll call for mostly sunny skies, 40 plus temperatures once again. 13 on your side forecast. Recapping the flurries on New Year's Eve day, just mostly cloudy on Monday, first day of 2024. Lake effect snow showers on Wednesday. We've taken them out for the rest of the week as the storm track stays to the north. And eventually we climb out of the mid 30s and getting close to 40 by the following weekend.